today we're going to be taking a look at AutoWork Online's new Work in Progress tab. Work in Progress allows you to view all the outstanding documents that are relevant to your particular job role. These are sorted into columns by status and can be quickly reassigned by dragging them between them. If you've never used Work in Progress before, it's quite likely that you'll see the following message set up. This is just because it's driven by status codes and the status codes haven't been correctly configured. If you click the green link, it'll take you through to the status code screen where you can resolve this. All that you need to do is set a work in progress category against each status. If you've never used AutoWork Online at all before, you may have a link at the bottom which will allow you to set the default status codes up. In this case, we already have status codes configured, they just don't have a work in progress category set against them. To assign this, just click the edit button against the code and then select a work in progress category from the drop down menu. When you've selected this and you're happy with what you've entered, just click the update button. This will save the changes against that particular code. You'll need to repeat those steps with all the other codes. It's also worth noting that you can amend the description or work in progress category against an existing entry. This is done by just clicking edit and then amending these fields above. When you're happy with the selection, click update. You can also delete that status code completely if you're not going to use it. To do this, simply click the delete button and then click OK on the prompt. When you're happy with your settings, go back into the work in progress tab. Now I'm going to show you how to set up a job role specific template. These can be selected from the drop down menu when you've created them. Firstly, click the Template Settings button in the upper right. This will give you access to this menu. From here, you can click the Create New Template button and then enter a name for this template. We're going to call this one Service Advisor. When you're happy with what you've entered, click OK. I'm also going to enable the auto refresh option from the screen by clicking there. This means that the screen will automatically refresh itself at roughly 1 minute intervals. When you're happy with all the settings in the screen, just click close. Now you can see we can select the new service advisor template from the drop down menu. Now we're going to configure which statuses will show on this screen, so we'll click the settings button at the right. This screen shows all the status codes that are available. The ones highlighted in blue are already selected, and the ones with a black icon rather than coloured icon are default ones included with the system. To select a status code, simply click it to highlight it blue. If you want to deselect it, just click it again. Once you're happy with your selections in the screen, simply click close. This will take you back to the main work in progress screen where you can see several extra windows have been added. These can be rearranged simply by clicking and dragging, and you can also resize them by clicking and dragging the bottom right hand corner. We're going to change the arrangement to make it clearer and easier to read. I've chosen to rearrange these so similar status codes are together. For example, all the on hold status codes such as waiting on authorization, quality control and waiting on parts are all organised into one column, but you can tell at a glance exactly why that job's on hold. Once you're happy with your settings in this screen, click the template settings button again and then click save. This template's now been saved so you can select it from the drop down menu. You can set up as many templates as you like, and like I mentioned earlier, these can be set up for specific job roles, so that person can only see the jobs that are relevant to them. Take a look at our Using Work in Progress video for more information on how you'd actually use Work in Progress once it's been set up. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. Please visit autowork.online for regular updates.